Hi guys, I'm Thaddeus. I'm a local realtor here in San Jose. I love to walk around and uh, research green, sustainable homes. And I'm here today with Jerome here from Durafoam Roofing and Solar Center. Thank you. And you're not going to believe it, but we're standing actually on the roof of the Eichler that these guys uh, were able to put the solar panels up and, uh, and do a really cool project. So, Jerome, take over. Sure. Talk about a little bit what you guys done here. Well, first thing I want to point out is that we're standing on a foam roof system. Sometimes people ask if you can walk on one, and here we are walking on one. And it it's, feels very sturdy and yeah. solid, yeah? Yeah. And uh, this is a, actually a very good roof system for a solar installation because it's really bright up here. Normally I'd be wearing my sunglasses. You'd have to, have to squint quite a, quite a bit up here. I got a lot of sunlight. We've got a, a, a nice low profile solar array, which goes along with the style of an Eichler to try to keep everything kind of low profile. We'll get a street view later on. It shows it, it looks nice with the architecture too. So uh, we yeah. took a lot of things into consideration with the layout. This thing is a, it's a seven and a half kilowatt system. It's generating a ton of power. It's running the meter backwards right now. Um, it's got uh, end phase microinverters and uh, Trina solar, solar panels. And something we took into consideration with the layout of the uh, solar panels was we, that we left room so the atrium cover could slide back and forth without uh, having the solar system obstruct it. So this thing actually slides back and forth. That's right. And open up for breeze or whatever for natural cooling. Mm -hmm. yeah? That's right. And there are a lot of doorways to the home that open up into the atrium area. It lets a lot of air, uh, fresh air uh, cycle through the house. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, Jerem, here's what normally people, you know, always want to ask. You know, what's my bottom line? Why, do, why should I put this on? You know, so tell me a little bit what what their needs were in the first place. You know, I, I understand they have uh, they're in pottery, right? And they actually they're artists. So they had very energy, you know, high high energy bills. Tell me more a little bit about. What was the need for solar panels? What was the reasoning? How did that affect their bottom line? Okay. Well, uh, this home has relatively high electrical usage because in the garage, there's a, an actual ceramics workshop. They have two oh, kilns nice. and all kinds of equipment. They've got compressors, a paint booth, they've got all kinds of electrical equipment. Mm -hmm. And so this home is using over a thousand kilowatt hours a month of electricity. What uh, kind of bill average. is that? I mean, that, that sounds huge. Uh, they're paying, you know, maybe three, four hundred dollars a month on electricity. Three to four hundred bucks. Yeah. yeah. And so, uh, so this, this system is uh, generating about 900 kilowatt hours a month of electricity. It'll, it's not going to cover all their usage, yeah. but it'll uh, make it so their bill is very small, you know, less than $40 a month. Right. Mm -hmm. So 40 bucks compared to 400 before? That, that's right. right? It would be well, yeah, well under, uh, uh, only 100 kilowatt hours. That's only going to cost like, you know, maybe $15. Yeah. How long do you think it will take for them to, to pay this off and just basically get free electricity from the sun? This system will pay for itself in about six or seven years. So six or seven, yeah? Yep. Got mm -hmm. it. Okay. Yeah, so since this system has microinverters, it has less, relatively less equipment on the wall. It, usually there would be a big inverter right next to this main electric panel. But here we just have a, a disconnect and a sub panel that all of the little individual microinverters that uh, generate AC power from each individual solar panel, uh -huh. they all, they're all wired into this box right here, the shutoff switch right here, so we can shut it off if we need to. Yeah, then we got all kinds of safety labels telling us about the system here on the main panel. And as you can see right now, if you want to come in on this meter, it's running backwards. Meter's going backwards at a really good pace right now. Um, yeah, normally it'd be going the other way. <laughs> <laughs> Jerem, these Eichlers, as you can see from the neighbors, actually have a, a, an old type tar and gravel roof. You were saying they really heat up, right? And then you basically put a lot of demand on cooling the house in the winter. What is this? Durafoam, you know, you mentioned it's much sturdier. What are the, the, you know, I have a feeling you said it's a cool roof, right? Yeah. What are the benefits? Like, okay. The, the main well, three for things? one thing, you don't have thousands and thousands of pounds of gravel on your roof that get really hot in the summer. Good in the summer, yeah. this gravel gets up to like 120, 150 degrees. And, and at night, it hot. keeps heating that. Yeah. yeah. And so we get rid of all that gravel. We put a, a, a thick layer of spray polyurethane foam, which is the mo best insulator that was ever invented. It's waterproof, it's lightweight, it helps us uh, so we can fix, if, if you had a big pool of water on your roof before, we can fill in the pools of water, yeah. uh, the, the low areas, fill them in to get the roof to right. drain properly. Right. And, uh, and, and it makes the homes more comfortable because you have a thick blanket of insulation up here that doesn't absorb heat. Got it. How much do they cost? How much does it cost for, like to take that neighbor, how much would it cost for him to replace the entire roof? 
Uh, it usually ends up somewhere around six dollars a square foot. So if you have a two thousand square foot roof, twelve thousand dollars or so, so that's not to replace bad. it. Yeah, that's it's not very bad reasonable. All. That's probably one of the best uh, upgrades you can make to a home is the uh, putting a foam roof system on it. Let me guess. It's one of those things. It's not necessarily more expensive, but it's a smarter design, right? It's just a, a, it's it, a matter of choosing a different element. But it has such a big, huge difference, doesn't it? You know, you know foam roofing, we, we've been in business for 30 years, and yeah. some people still don't even know what it is. Really? <laughs> it's not a new product. And uh, anyone who's seen a space shuttle shoot up into the air, the big, huge gas tank on the space oh, shuttle, yeah. it has, it's like a brown color. Yeah. It's, it's got spray polyurethane foam on it. Hey, you can say, this is NASA technology, baby, right here. This is the this future, <laughs> right here. <laughs> so I'm thinking, you know, normally you guys put solar panels on uh, shingles roof, right? How, what, what, what does one need to keep in mind when putting solar panels on like, like this, you know, a foam roof? What, what do they need to know? Okay, when you have a flat roof system, there's certain pros and cons to having solar. One of the huge advantages is, is that you can point the solar panels in any direction you want. In this uh, layout, the homeowner wanted the panels face, facing the westward direction so they'd get more production in the afternoon because they're on a, a time of use schedule and that was going to work out best for the cost, uh, their, their, their payback. What about the duration of the roof? Is there any benefit to that? I mean, how long do they last? Well, underneath the solar system, you want to have uh, a roof system that's going to last for at least 30 years. Because yeah. if you have to take the system down and then right, put it back right. up again Huge to replace your roof system, you're talking about a dollar a watt. For a system like this, yeah. we're talking about about $7,500 to take the system down and put it back up again. So we want a roof system that'll last for at least 30 years. How long is it going to last? This will last uh, the life of the home. So this this roof won't need any, uh, th yeah, this roof will last the life, the, the life of the home. How long is that? Uh, it'll, this Right now the home is about 50 years old, 60 yeah. years old. Yeah. It should go for at least another, you know, 60 years or so. The, uh, That's awesome. The only thing you have to do to make sure this roof lasts the life of the home is keep the coating in good shape, and the coating only needs to re be replaced every 20 years. Really? So yeah. you don't need to get out here every weekend and? No, no. Got it. It's just uh, it, it's spray polyurethane foam. It, it's um, it, it doesn't it's inert doesn't degrade. The only thing that can wear it out is uh, UV rays and that's what these coatings are that we put on them every 20 years. It keeps the, it's like sunscreen. Yeah. Jim, thanks for, thanks for uh, meeting us here today and show, for showing the house. I think that's awesome. You know, uh, the two things that I learned here is, is the, the cool roofing system, right? Again, to keep the house much more comfortable. And number two is the solar panels that basically helps to offset a very uh, high energy demanding hobby, which is the, the, the kennel and the, and the, the pottery, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what, what motivates you to this kind of work, you know, to do this kind of work? What's your message to the community and so on? Well, it, it feels great to do this type of work because number one, we're making homes more comfortable and more energy efficient. And we're also helping customers save tons of money yeah. by offsetting their electricity usage. Oh. And they can feel good about making ceramics, can feel good about using air conditioning, yeah. or just uh, watching TV. And you're a nature guy, so this is right up your you know, sure system leaves as far as you know doing the right thing. Love spending time up in the Sierras, love climbing uh, huge rocks like Half Dome. It's a, a great place to be. The area for you. Mm -hmm. Awesome. It's been Thanks, a pleasure. Buddy. Thank you very yeah, much. Take care. Mm -hmm. yeah.